Hello and welcome back, this is James from CGS Randomize, as you can see I'm in White Run at the moment and today I will be doing what I think is one of the fastest ways to level up your alchemy. Um, I will also be showing you a little glitch that in the game where you can, it'll obviously cost money but um, basically this place, obviously it's got the little alchemy, alchemist sign outside and it's called that, I don't know how to uh, pronounce it. But um, there's a little glitch I will show you towards the end of the video, and it will help. It'll cost money, but it'll get you a lot of ingredients really quickly. So, let's start. Basically, my way of doing it is um, discovering all the different potions. That's the best way, I think, because as soon as you discover a potion, it will basically level up. Oh, might as well take that lavender. It will level... Uh, not definitely level you up, but it'll be a big chunk of the level up. So I'm just going to go to uh, go to. I can't talk today. Sorry. I'm going to go to Dragon's Reach and use the Alchemist table in there. All right. Hello, and we're back. Um, just going into Dragon's Reach. Obviously, there's the Alchemist table and the Enchantment table. So Alchemy Lab. Just going to go in here and. Just create the potions that you can. Now, I have searched the web and I found a really good website that I will put the description in the link. And um, the link in the description, should I say? Sorry about that. I'm really not with it today. Sorry, but it tells you all the different ingredients and what they can, what potions that can be used in. For example, a mixture of death bell and. Kiva Tail will give you an unknown potion at the moment, but it'll give you po uh, damage health, so that's one that you can do. So that's how I do it. I've got a website that tells me all the different ones, all the different potions that can be made. It also includes the ingredients that you get from the add-ons, which there's not many of them, but there's like Netch Jelly from Dawn Guard and Poison Bloom from Dragonborn. Uh, let's see if I can make what if I carry weight? What am I looking for? Giant store, I might have one of them. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, giant store and... <laughs> I, S, S, S. Skill that. Uh, that will make 45 carry weight, you see? So I'll put that in the description. And obviously as soon as you discovered it, if you have the ingredients in your thing, or if you have one, it'll come up with it. But if it's not like highlighted like damage health is, it means you don't have the ingredients to make it. Now obviously it's not just like two ingredients to each portion, so you'll be able to discover more ingredients to each portion. Uh, I'll do one more, just to show you the um, level boost. I mean it might not be brilliant, but it's, it's one of the fastest ways. So see if I have a blue, no I don't have a blue but if I win. Bone meal? Do I have bone meal? Yes, I do. Do I have blister wart? Yes, I do. So this will create a damaged stamina portion, and see, it didn't get it up much, but it does get it up. Uh, another way you can do it is obviously, if it's an unknown thing like glowing mushroom, just eat one of them. It'll get your alchemy up a little bit, not a lot, but it'll get it up a little bit, and it also show you what it does like blow mushroom resist shock um, I recommend unless it's a really easy thing to do uh, to get ingredient to get I recommend only doing it when you've got more than one of the oh, of the um, ingredient now for uh, this alchemy video will come in a lot of use for our next video that we'll be doing and that will be speech and I'm just gonna go to the alchemist shop in White Rum, whatever her name is, Cauldron, you know, that one. That I showed you at the start of the video, I'm just going to show you that little glitch that I found on how to get loads of ingredients. Right, here I am. Just going to run down here. Obviously this one doesn't require any, much, like, travelling. I mean, you can obviously travel to the different alchemist shops in... Skyrim and buy out their goods. I think this works on other 
shops it should do because I don't understand I, I wouldn't understand why it'd only work for one but it should work for more than one so this is a little exploit that I found, well little exploit little glitch that I found for this exploit so you just want to go into the co uh, you just want to go into this alchemist shop in white run it is basically in the center of white run it's just up from Bree's home there'll be a fire just like you know yeah yeah because I'm not burning at all Anyway, talk to her, you ask what she's got for sale, um, then you go to ingredients, buy out what you want, for example, if I buy death bells, she won't have any death bells left. So I'll buy a substantial amount of stuff, obviously this will cost quite a lot, but it does get you all the ingredients that you need. And um, nearly there, I think we're on T. Yeah. Void salts, I'm gonna avoid them because uh, they're 291 a pot. So just buy white caps and the wheat, and then you back out and back. you just quickly save. And obviously, all she's got in her ing uh, ingredients section now is the void salts. She's got it's three void salts, I'll prove that to you just now. Me. So Look, she hadn't restocked over the time it's taken me to save. Oh. See, so only void salts left. So then what you do, you kill her. So, there, she's dead. Don't bother looting the body because now you're just going to quickly load up that save. Remember, always remember to save before you kill her. Because I've done it where I've killed her and then saved and I, it's just messed up. <laughs> so always save before you kill her and it will. Hopefully, it doesn't mess up for this video. Take a look. Um, if you look at ingredients, now she's got all new ingredients restocked. It saves you having the trouble of waiting for however long, 48 hours, for her to restock the ingredients. It's a lot faster than waiting, and it's just a little glitch where you can get your ingredients really fast. So then you just buy them out, and... You can repeat this as many times as you want, or as many times as you can, providing that you've got enough money. Vampire dust. Void salt. Nope. Back out. And easiest way to do this is overwrite that save. Just overwrite that save, number 559 for me. <laughs> I've got quite a lot of saves. Yeah. Get your battle axe out, or whatever weapon you're having. This is like a... Well, I missed. Well, that that was fun. Killer. Tea bagger if you must. Obviously I've got the sneak skill. Enemies are coming in for me, so just load up that save. You won't have any like trouble with the guards or up like that, it won't do that. And that's what it'll do, it'll restock her ingredients inventory instantly making it really easy to get all the ingredients you need provided you have the money. I so I'm just gonna so show you again that she's restocked her inventory. Got her ingredients, all she had void salts, now she has all of this. And obviously it varies between what she has. It's like Deirdre Hearts I steer away because the 582. But Obviously, this could be a really good way of getting Daedra Hearts. If you really want to make loads of Daedra Karma, you can just come in, buy whatever Daedra Hearts she has, save, kill her, load up the save, buy some more Daedra Hearts, and keep doing that. Because I have played this game an, <laughs> an awful lot, so I know how hard it is to get Daedra Hearts. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this has been James from CGS Randomizer with a big battle axe on my back, and this has been the Alchemy exploit. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. As you can see, I've just deposited a load of stuff in Breeze Home. I got Breeze Home for free. If you don't, if you want to know how to do that, I'll do a video on it later. Just comment. Um, I've got iron ingots and leather strips, and what we're going to do here is make as much iron daggers as we can. 